Garrett knew a 10, an actor playing the Sesame Street character Elmo was arrested and facing 60 days in jail. To avoid that, he called Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. Let's see if Elmo wound up behind bars. Darren's an actor who's played bad guys getting arrested. arrested. Then he was hired to play Elmo and got arrested. And I see this cop there like with his gun and all that. Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! This started back in December. Darren was paid to dress up as the Sesame Street character for a live streaming show on YouTube. I was like, hey, you know what? I'm up for anything. As part of the show, the organizers tied Elmo up and put him in the back of a van. I got cops calling me twice today. But a 911 caller thought it was a kidnapper. BSO body cam footage we obtained shows what happened. Shut your mouth! Oh, this is awesome. I don't give a the organizers knew they were real officers, but Darren thought the cops were actors and part of the show just like him. To all the people, they believed it was real. But they supposedly had everybody, they talked to everybody. Oh, no, that's not the case. And Darren quickly learned the police officers were really upset they had been chasing an Elmo character. You wasted, not just our time, helicopter fuel. Uh, scared the out of a couple of families. Darren, with his wrists handcuffed, tried to explain he was not to blame. I was paid to be kidnapped. Right, but yeah. Because I'm an actor. And you did a great job. Darren and the three organizers were all arrested, charged with disorderly conduct, which can mean 60 days in jail. Darren called Help Me Howard. We asked Eric Schwartzreich to take the case. He didn't stage anything. He wasn't in charge of this. He took a job. He was hired. The Broward State Attorney's Office offered all four people involved in the live stream a plea deal where they would enter a diversion program and each pay $200 restitution. Two accepted. The third's expected to. But Eric refused to settle and Darren agreed. I just feel it's wrong. I shouldn't be um, in this predicament in the first place. Six months later, we were back in court. The assistant state attorney spoke. Both myself and defense have spent the last few weeks negotiating uh, back and forth regarding the appropriate result in this case. The state announces a null pros. Null pros. Translation, Darren was in the clear. They took the time. They were diligent. They reviewed the videos. They reviewed the records and they came to the right resolution which was to drop the charges and free Elmo. Darren was thrilled. The charge clearly had bothered him more than he had shown. I didn't know what to do. It was like mental anguish. Eric doesn't represent the three organizers of the live stream, but he says they clearly put Darren as Elmo in a bad spot. So I don't think there was any cruel or evil intent here, but I think people need to be in this day and age, need to be smart, need to be wiser as to like what's going on so a panic is not caused. It all started as a live stream that left Darren in handcuffs. It all worked out after his call to help me, Howard. We got Eric Schwartz right. We got you. Help me, Howard. Howard Finkelstein, with you guys' help, you saved me from 60 days in jail and a record. So I really appreciate it, and I thank you a lot. Happy for you, Darren. And thank you, Eric, for helping Darren out for free. Now, if you're going to put on a show that might look like a crime, let the police know the time and location. It might save everyone headaches. Tired of someone's act? The problem can be arrested by handcuffing us to it to unlock a solution. This helped me, Howard and Patrick Frazier, 7 News.